The heavens have burst open and are inundating everywhere just with a ton of brand new Disney Cars diecast, most of which are for Cars on the Road, but there is a little bit of other good stuff in there too, such as Breaker Boggs from Cars 3. You have a couple nice Cars 1 re-releases and we're also getting the expanded universe line of the glow racers here soon as well so it's just fun stuff craziness chaos everywhere while the u.s at target is getting in case l which includes randy mallory carha breaker boggs jay schuster and some others the uk is getting in case k with motto which is pretty gosh darn desirable probably the most out of any of the ones we're talking about that case also has mallory carha and then the quadrator Torcasar. So, I mean, right now we are in the thick of it. It's that time of year. Like we talked about when we did the reviews of the two packs, or as I've been doing those reviews, I still need to post the Mark Sondheimer one. I mean, it's just a great time to be collecting right now. It's been rough over the last couple of months, especially at Target stores who have only gotten in two 2023 cases so far, being B in, I think it was E, and now they're getting an L. So, it's like they just they're skipping all throughout the pond, you know, just lily pad jumping, I guess, is what they're doing right now. So I'll take it. That's a great case that they're getting in right now. And they're also getting in the two packs. And, you know, that has a lot of potential as well. So either way, today here we have Mallory Carha, one of the ghosts from Cars on the Road, the Lights Out episode to review. Very excited about this. You know, I just did the review on the twin ghosts, Lisa and Louise from the episode. And that was... You know, kind of our first real taste of diecast for this episode. Of course, we did get the color changer ghost, who we'll compare to Mallory here, but that's a different character. So it's really nice that they're sprucing it up a little bit and giving us kind of a larger sample size. We're also getting Randy, who is the hotel owner here soon. So yeah, lots of good stuff to come. And like I just mentioned, she is in both Case K and L. I just got her online. Squat is also out there right now in Case L. So, I mean, there's just a ton of good stuff. But I was able to get this one online for a reasonable price. And I figured might as well snag it and review it. Because I don't know when I'll be able to get the full case for you guys. And who knows? Honestly, it's even worse when I'll be able to find them in stores. Because the Midwest here is notoriously bad for getting in new stuff. So, yeah. Definitely within my best interest <laughs> to order them ahead of time. But yeah, Mallory looks great. I do love that she's floating, carrying on the tradition from Lisa and Louise, who are also floating on their card arts. And yeah, super green, just like she looks in the episode. A lot of people are wondering if they would do a die cast of her as if she was an actual real life car. I knew that wasn't going to be case. They wanted to make it look like this is actually a ghost right out of the episode. And I think they did a really good job of it. Some people have been complaining that this is not like green enough. It's too teal, too turquoise. And yeah, I guess that's kind of a worthy complaint, but I don't think it really matters. I think it looks pretty gosh darn good overall. Obviously new for 2023. And again, the color changer they did is Deanna Gerdado, so a different character, and I'm glad that yeah, it gives us some diversity instead of just doing the color changer and then the die cast of the same exact character. Now on the back here, you have a lot of amazing releases. Road Rumbler Mater, who's in case J, and I think he's getting re-included in a couple other ones. Same thing with Mateo here, although he debuted in case H. Then you have Wes Philanapis, who's in case J. The Quadratorcasar, who is in case K with Mato. He got pushed back from H to K, so keep that in mind. And then again, Griswold just is absolutely a snake. I mean, he's just a little animal, bro. Like, he'll find his way onto the card back of anyone without having any business of being there. It's like everyone else here is brand new within the last couple cases, and then Griswold dates all the way back to almost a year ago, September. So that's kind of funny to me. But regardless, it's great seeing Mato on the back of a package, especially with Mateo right above her. So hopefully I can get her as well here soon to review along with, you know, the Quadra Torcasar because yeah, all of them just look great, but I will take Mallory. It's such a great release as well. All these, I've been really high on everything Mattel has been doing lately. It's been a while since I really just dogged on a new release, but there has been a few like over the last couple months where I've been like, oh, this is just a bad release. <laughs> or maybe that was the Disney store Rumbler queen or mater that I was really mad about. But yeah, all right, I'll be right back with Mallory all opened up. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, she looks great out of the package. I'm really loving the matte finish that they applied to her. And that really is the only way they could have gone with her. I feel like if they did a glossy finish, it just wouldn't feel too good ghoulie if you know what I mean but yeah there is Mallory in the episode of course one of the many ghosts but she does speak directly to McQueen so it's not a full-on background character like Dion Gerdado would have been or is so yeah cool stuff there and again hopefully this opens the door to all those other ghosts I would love to see a ghost pity with a piano would love to see the ghost tractor I think that's one that a lot of people are going to want to get as well so yeah, the other thing that I love about her is that she's a brand new model. Like She's similar to a couple, and I'll show you guys them in a moment, but she is a brand new diecast model. And amidst all the reskinning that they did for Cars on the Road, like as in using previous animated models and just kind of putting new paint jobs on them, I mean, it honestly got to the point where it was just egregious in Cars on the Road. You had the sheriff in the B-movie episode looking just like Roscoe. You had all these, oh, what's a good word for it? Like Sterling models, you know, k Pillar Durev is the same model as Sterling. And it got a little bit distasteful. And so amidst all that, Mallory is a brand new model. So love to see it. I think that's a great, great thing to talk about and mention to shine some light on this. Cause like even these two, the twins are just Maddie McGears essentially. And Deanna Gerdado is basically a, I mean, kind of like River Scott, but slightly different, so we'll give her a little bit of a pass. But yeah, Mallory is just utterly fantastic. So let's zoom in here on her. Got a nice expression, you know. It is a little grainy, it appears, but it's like they gave the whites of her eyes some like green tint. So it's making it look a little darker than it really should be. But yeah, it's a good expression for her. I like how the like eyes drooping down there on the left. It's a little straighter on the right. Teeth just busted, missing a couple there. But again, gives it some nice character. You got the headlights and the grill, which are a plastic piece. And it's a little loose there, as you can see. But yeah, that's a plastic piece. Same thing with the bumper here. The tires are completely done in the same color and it matches pretty perfectly. So that's a plus. But yeah, I just love the matte finish to her. So smooth. This overhang here is plastic. If she didn't have this overhang, that's kind of one of the major things that makes her look such new, like such a new model. Because, you know, you take some of these other guys here that we'll, you know, compare her to here soon. And you start thinking like, well, how new actually is she? But, you know, again, she did earn it. She earned it, guys. She earned it, even though if it's one of those like, hey, like, can I see your homework or whatever? And then you just copy it word for word. Just change it up a bit. <laughs> but yeah, she does have a dent right here, which is indicative, again, of a lot of these types of models. Even though they're different, technically, they all have that dent right there. I think Duke Coulters has it going on a little bit there. Uh, maybe Caleb Worley. It's hard to tell on some of them, but you could definitely tell on Mallory here, that dent. But again, that's cool. It makes sense. She's dead, so <laughs> maybe she got hit. Got the doorknob there, the plastic side view mirror. That's a hard plastic. Plastic window inserts there that are all teal. Let's take a look at our license plate. Oh, it's a nasty looking license plate. Like the blue and the yellow. Like the blue is just kind of like bleeding into the yellow. That looks really, really strange and not very good at all. But K06-29M. So whose birthday is June 29th with the initials KN? It's the mystery right there. But yeah, she's got all the bolts on her trunk here, which again is very similar to, for example, River Scott, Gearson Marshall, all the ones that, you know, are this shape about. This bumper back here is also plastic. Let's take a look at her base. S21A means she was made during the 21st week of 2023 at the A factory, even though she was copyrighted last year made in Thailand. Look how like dirty or like painted over that rivet is and this one's just perfectly clean. Interesting. But yeah, wonderful. She looks great. It's kind of weird. There's like a gap in between the main metal body and the windows. I see that gap. Like it's a little bit more accentuated back here. Kind of crazy. But yeah, I love this release. Again, people have complained about her a little bit and maybe it makes sense because the colors on these don't really match, but you gotta take into account one's a plastic color changer and the other one's a 155 scale die cast. So likely 
when it's all said and done, all the diecast ghosts will look like Mallory. Unless they start changing them up, which that would honestly upset me more than anything if they start changing the color from Mallory. Because all the ghosts in the episode are one standard color. But also, they did do a pretty good job with Diana as a color changer. It's one of the best they've ever done, I'd say, in terms of like this transparent green that they used almost. like It's almost like see-through, which gives off the ghost vibes for sure. Yeah, these two are even similar in their own ways, like one side view mirror, the bolted on trunk there, the double back window, just like the shape of the windows in general. But yeah, it's cool to have a couple ghosts now, even if they look quite different. But yeah, let's compare it to a couple other similar models. You have River Scott here, who again, different, absolutely, but there are some similarities. Like they do basically have the same wheels and tires, because there's a tread on there, and the same like spoked hubcap in the center. Maybe Diana used to race with these guys and then died. That would have been crazy. Kind of an interesting place to meld the license plate to. Like that's a metal piece there. Or it's on top of the metal body in it. So is that trunk handle there. Whereas that's just smooth and they put the license plate on the bumper. But yeah, same just shape of the back windows there. That's what I'm trying to get at. Duke Coulter's here. He's a little different. He's got these bands strapped around his hood to keep it from opening, I guess. Different shaped grill. He's got the mouth guard, essentially, and the little chin guard, chin strap. But the side view mirrors are identical in terms of their shape. Duke does have different wheels and tires. But again, you have the bolted on trunk, double window. Good stuff. And then here we have Caleb Worley. Also has the bands on. He's got the similar, yeah, similar wheels that just are a little smaller in the front, bigger in the back. Cool. Yeah, I'm vibing with that. I like this guy, or I like this gal, Mallory, a lot. And just for fun, Junior Moon, even though, yeah, I mean, similar shape and size, but yeah, pretty different. Pretty different. Cool. So you guys let me know in the comment section below now that we have a decent amount of characters from this episode of the show. Like, who is your favorite? You know, is it Mallory? Are the twin ghosts up there? Luisa and Louise? Is it Deanna Gerdado? Or will it be Randy? which I think a lot of people will end up answering that their favorite is Randy because he's a red and black hearse. Can't go wrong with that. But yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching and for your support on this video. I really appreciate it. Tomorrow will be the review of Mox Suntimer. And after that, we're going to have some craziness going on. We're going to have the Glow Racers Mac, some accessory two packs. Going to be posting a new Giga Haul here soon. And yeah, the Glow Racers themselves will come out. And hopefully, I can get my hands on all those other new singles Mato, Quad, Torquesar, Squat, Randy, Breaker Bogs, etc. All right, I'll see you next time. Oh, yeah, what the hell is going on though with. <laughs> Target man, I just cannot believe that after all this time they just are like, hey, let's get in brand new two packs and brand new singles at the same time and just make everyone go crazy. I don't know. Just after a huge drought, it's feast or famine with them this year. All right, guys, see ya.